Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it. I am Penge and it's time for a little bit more Farm Manager and we have ourselves a little bit of a quandary, yes a quandary which is a word that should be used far more often, try and use it today perhaps, quandary, it's a very good word. So last time out we did this, we harvested the cherry orchard which is over here and we have ourselves remaining 33,961 cherries, which is a surprisingly accurate amount for the amount of cherries they took from this particular harvest. I like the fact they counted them all. That's very, very good. So um, they're, coming, they're going into here, into the juice factory, which is fine. And the people in the juice factory, the five employees, which, to be fair, given the size of the juice factory, you think there might be more than five people working there, but okay. The five employees in the juice factory are working very, very hard to turn it into cherry juice, to turn these cherries into cherry juice. However... They are going to run out of time because the cherries will go off. If we check the date, I think they should be in the cell panel bit, shouldn't they? Yes, 3rd of the 9th. So they've got about three weeks, maybe two and a half, whatever, two and a half, three weeks to turn all of those cherries into, into cherry juice, which I don't think is going to happen. I just don't think it's possible. No matter how hard they work, if they pull treble shifts and do 40-hour days or whatever, it's just not going to happen, is it? So when you think of an alternative... And um, somebody uh, in the comments, which is very, very lovely that people are commenting, thank you very much, keep the comments coming, uh, said you could build a second juice factory. And then also they'll be working twice as, you get twice as much juice because you'll have two juice factories, which is a good idea. But then also, as I mused at the end of the last video, we could also go down, if we find the button here, this route, the frozen food factory. The factory produces different types of frozen foods. I quite like the idea of that, if only because we haven't got one already. If we had, you know, building a juice factory is cool and we, it's exciting and it would probably work, but we've already got one of those and I like all the shiny new things. I quite like the idea of the frozen food factory. It's 656,000 monies to build, which is very, very expensive. So let's just go and take a look at how much things actually are when they're frozen as opposed to when they're unfrozen. So if we go to the market, so it does strawberries. So let's have a look at stra. So a regular strawberry is actually pretty good. A frozen one. Oh, crikey. Yes. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Right. So that's what? 23.3 as opposed to, oh, that's hard to gauge where that is indeed. Where's that on there? 10. Okay, so it's more than double. Right, okay. So let's have a look at the one we're interested in, really. So cherries are okay. A frozen cherry is seven. Yeah, okay, right. That, that's an okay amount. That's fine. Get rid of both of those. What was the other one? Ah, raspberries. Now, yeah, now, yes. We're going to have to start doing something with raspberries soon. So raspberries on their own are very, very profitable. Frozen raspberries are ludicrously profitable. I don't know why. Is there, much, is there that much demand for raspberries in the world? But okay, that's fine. So raspberries very 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 profitable when frozen and um i think that's why we're going to go for this we are going to go for uh whatever it was a frozen frozen fruit factory frozen goods factory what is it frozen food factory that only actually freezes three fruits um maybe in future versions maybe in future updates they'll uh, expand <laughs> the range of frozen things or change it to a frozen fruit factory possibly but yeah Let's build one of these. Let's build a frozen food factory because it just looks exciting. So, uh, roads. Let's put roads in. Let's put roads just like round here, like so. Join it up with that road that's coming through here, which is fine. Right, hang on. Let's do that because that's fine. That's a little path around the back, which is good. And we'll double road that if I can make it work. So, that's, that's that. That's double roaded that bit. Now... How is this going to fit? How big is this? Holy moly. <laughs> that thing is massive. Okay. Right. That is enormous. Ah, and the, the the front of it, the entrance bit, is on the side. It's on the sort of the shorter edge rather than the long edge, I think. So we could put that quite happily just there. That building is enormous. Do you know what? Let's just do it. I'm, I'm kind of having second thoughts, but do you know what? If I press the button, that means it's just happened. And the sooner I do this, if I put time on, and then was dithering about, those cherries are getting nearer to going off. And the other thing is, how long is that going to take to be put together? I don't know. I don't know. Surely that's going to take a very long time. So it might have to be a case of rush the cherries in as quick as we can. However, if not, at least it's there for next year. And we can always do something over here with raspberries, which is part of a plan. Yes, I have a plan, everybody. 
Uh, first, let's get this building done. Let's get that put together. And also, we are going to need some people to work in that building. So I think if the door's over here, if all the entrance stuff was on this side with the pointy arrows, maybe the house just here would be good. The worker place, wherever it is, the uh, little sort of worker's house. Permanent employees. In fact, could we took it behind there? Oh, that is perfect. Let's just put that there. That is tremendous. Okay, good. That's that. That's that ticking over quite nicely. That is splendid news. Right, okay. Let's just, let's just play. Let's just do that. Now, I did have some frame rate issues when I loaded this. I did notice that the frame rate had somewhat plummeted dramatically. It did kick back into life. It took a little while. So, hopefully, that's not going to be a problem as we expand. Because, you know, it's getting pretty big. It's getting pretty big now. And if we're buying this tile later on, which we might well do, it's going to get even bigger. So, I'm hoping frame rate stuff is not going to be a problem. Okay. Stuff is appearing in here. This is good. This is encouraging. I like this. Tomatoes are looking good. Stuff down here is being harvested. That's all fine. That um, needed some moisture. Needed some water. So I set some people to go watering it before the uh, before I started recording. The bees are still doing their thing. It's very good. Cheese is still being produced. Meat still going on. It's all it's all sort of it's all ticking over and it's all very very nice. Now, I might sell quite a lot of the manure because last time out I said oh yes we've got a bit of a manure problem. I put one of those in, but um. Yeah, I still, I think we need to sell some manure because we have an awful lot of it. It's still building up in the sheds, I think. Yeah, not too much though. Just 240, just a tiny, tiny 248.90 kilograms of it. You know, they could pop that in a corner, put it in the cupboard or something. How much is in here? Oh, a, a positively, positively minuscule 153.03 kilograms. That's hardly any. Okay, yeah, don't look in the medium goat shed. Don't, don't bother looking in there. So we could sell some of that, but there's no guarantee that they're going to sell it from from uh, the ones that are within the animal huts, is there? I, I don't know. I just go to the generic sell thing and sell it. But we do have quite a lot of it, and it is going to keep being produced by the vast amounts of animals we have. So let's just go through, and let's just sell manure. It's probably at the bottom of the list somewhere. There we go. So 8,799 kilograms of it. That's quite a lot. 8,800. 8, uh, okay. Oh, they're, the, they're in the three different... Ah, those three are in there. I see. Right. So one of those has got 8799 in it, and the other two have got 8799-8800. Okay, why, is that, why are the other two not full? Okay, I don't know. Uh, right, well, let's empty, let's empty one of them in its entirety. Oh, no, that's all of the manure. That's 26,000. Oh, that's very confusing. Okay, how about we just do 10,000 manures? Do that sell that is that did that work in any way shape or form i'm not entirely sure it did uh oh that's empty that one's gone so that's going to free up 8800 capacity apart from a tiny little bit of liquid manure do you know what let's just go through and sell that right now let's just sell the liquid manure because we don't actually care about that so uh yeah where is it it's actually not appearing anywhere on the lists oh dear me okay do you know what let's not bother about that bye bye right go over here what's happening with our stuff how is that coming along? Oh, it's it's taking a while. It's taking a while, isn't it? Uh, fields are ready for harvest. That's absolutely fine. Yeah. Um, also, our neighbour, our neighbour, we've we've coerced our neighbour into another completely idiotic bet. So um, here we are with seven greenhouses packed with tomatoes, and uh, yeah, our neighbour has made a bet. Bet with a neighbour. Prove that you are a better farmer and collect ten tomatoes before the twenty fifth of the ninth. That's a month away to win nine thousand one hundred monies. I mean, that is a ridiculous amount of money. That is a stupid amount of money for um for, for our neighbour to bet. Because I rather suspect we're going to do that with all these tomatoes here. We're going to harvest thousands, thousands of tomatoes. Not just, what was it, ten? Ten, that's nothing. I'll probably grow that, I don't know, in my own house or something, on a little plant inside. Never alone out of seven big industrial greenhouses. So yeah, I think we'll have that in the back. So that's another 9,100. That's quite nice. That's going to offset the damage of that building because that's very expensive, but never mind. Okay, while we're here, let's get ourselves... I didn't click on the frozen food track. There we go. There, that's better. Uh, I've harvested, harvested some red peppers as well, which is lovely. Um, let's hire some people. Now, I don't know how many people are going to work in here. So if we just hire initially, say, four, perhaps, and then see if that goes up, I imagine it's going to be five at least. So let's see if anybody with uh, the production skill is there. No, not not one person that has it on its own. You've got an animal skill, but you don't need that. Because you're going to be solely working in here all year round. Uh, oh, no, insects. Ah, okay, right. Where? What field? 
Uh, okay, right, that's not so much of... Oh, no, it is a problem. It is a problem because it's bearing fruit. So we can't do anything with it. We can't do anything with that field for some reason. We can't go and spray the insects off it because it's bearing fruit. Maybe you can't do it when it's bearing fruit because then you're spraying the the sort of the fruit, the, the, the edible bit or whatever it is, the good bit of the crop there with chemicals, and you're not allowed to do that. I don't know. Uh, okay, right, let's go back here then. Let's just hire some people. Come on, let's get this done. Yeah, so you're... I, this person here has the quality, uh, the skill tree to uh, obviously do the manufacturing, which is good, and then harvesting. And part of me thinks, ah oh, yes, a double skilled person, that's very, very good. And I know that one person in particular will be going, yes, a double skilled person, one viewer right now will be going, yes, please pick them. But there's very little point picking this person, because they're always going to be here. That's their sole job, working in this place. They're never going to go in the field, because they're just going to be locked in here. I'm just going to lock them in, they're never going to leave. So, um, yeah, there's no point picking them. So let's have Ella Marsh. You've got production skill. We can train you up. Oh, goodness me. Which house is it? Number, what, nine? Yeah, there. Number nine, please. And then let's see anyone else. Oh, it's very short pickings. Molly Gibson. Yeah, you're okay. That's fine. Into house number nine, please. Anyone else? No. Oh, no. Maya Phillips, you'll do. Yeah, into house number nine. Right. Let's go through and find at least one more person. That's quite a nice touch. I've never noticed that before. So the weather is particularly terrible at the minute in-game. It's raining. There's a storm. It's really awful. Look, the trees in the orchard. I mean, these are the cherry trees, or the cherryless cherry trees, because we've harvested all the lovely cherries off them, down, counted them down to the very last one. Um, they're all blowing about. Look, I've never really noticed that before. Or are the other trees doing the same? Yes, they're sort of blowing about in the wind. I've never really noticed that before. That's quite a nice touch. Right, I hired... I thought it was four, but I've obviously miserably failed how to do counting again. <laughs> I've ended up with five. But I'm going to assume that this massive building is going to need at least five people. If not, possibly even more. So I think that should be okay. I think that'll be fine. I don't think we need to worry too much. So, um, yeah, it's a case now of just waiting for that to get finished. There's nothing else particularly going on. The thing we're training in is the cow farming, so we can have the bigger cow shed, which is exciting. There's some strawberries here. This could be interesting. Let's do that. Um, oh, I don't want you to pick the seasonal workers. The seasonal workers are going to go and work over there in the fields very shortly. Uh, yeah, you'll do. George Webb, Isaac Hammond... Robin Mills. Yes, off your pop. You go and do that, please. That's splendid. And of course, this place here can freeze cherries and such like. Uh, not, no, not that place. This place here that's not built yet. Um, which would be nice if they got on with it. You thought, given that they're over halfway through, they might have a little bit more structure, but never mind. I'm sure they're fine. Um, that place over there can obviously do the cherries, which is what we're going to do in the very, very, very short term. In about a week and a bit. We're going to have to hurry that along if it's ready. Probably about a week. Um, but then you can also do strawberries, which is exciting, and then raspberries. So, with raspberries in mind, and their massive profitability, we're going to buy this tile here. Ooh, ooh, there's a structure. There's a structure that's appeared. There's aircon. There's aircon units, or freezing outlets, or whatever those things are. I don't know what they are. I was trying to sound like I know what I was talking about, but no. These things here, that are like big industrial units. There's a fence. There's a fence with a gate. That's very exciting. Okay. So that's good. We don't ever get to see in the building so much. Is there actually anything, any sort of detail inside? There's not. It's just sort of a shell of a building. And then they put the roof on and we never see inside again. So I'm guessing this bit here, kind of admin, I guess. A little bit there. There's some windows. That's probably administration. You know, that's where all the computers or something are. That's where the office staff are. That's where you clock in and out and your break room is and your toilets and all that. And this is the actual thing where the stuff happens. That's where the magic happens. The freezing magic. Okay, that's good. It's ticking over quite nicely. So yes, we are going to go and buy the tile, by land, by land, yes please, that's next to that. So just there. Now, that's gone... Okay, okay, that's gone a bit... We <laughs> hang on, hang on. I'm going to come out of that. I'm going to go back in and hope that that's ever so slightly more correct than it was. No. Okay, this has gone a bit weird. Because this seems to think that this is possibly water. Does that look like water to you? I think that possibly looks like water, which is a little bit strange. But okay, let's just buy this bit of land. Just there. It's probably very expensive. 71 grand. Yes, please. Now the honey will probably pay for that. So yeah, that tile can be purchased. Splendid. Okay, that's very exciting. Now I'm hoping the edge of that tile isn't some sort of horrible abyss. No, it, it's it's just a normal bit of thing. Okay, the buy land thing, the buy land sort of screen has gone a little bit wonkaloids. That's fine. We can cope with a little bit wonkaloids. That's entirely fine. These things are going to be coming up soon. So apples, pears, and more pears. What we might do 
I'm going to have to see how long they can survive on there without the crop quality coming down. Get the pears first. So let's at least get one field of pears. So get one field of pears sorted. Get them out. Sell them. We'll keep we'll keep some of them, and then I'll manually sell them because they don't do anything else. We'll keep some for our animals. They can distribute them around the uh, animal buildings. I think some of them do have pears, don't they? Uh, the goats certainly do, which means probably the sheep might well do as well. Allowed food. Uh, no. Okay. Okay. They're completely different. Do, are these allowed pears? No. Okay. Oh, is it just the goats? Oh, I thought... Oh, hang on. That, that's entirely the wrong button. <laughs> the humans. No, they're not allowed food. Oh, it is literally just the goats. Oh, I thought it was slightly more than that. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Well, I'll keep some behind for the goats. But then, yes, yeah, so we'll sell the rest, which would be jolly exciting. Come on. Finish this building. Finish this. Running out of time. And then that means that it'll give them more time to process the cherries into cherry juice, of which they are doing. They're doing it. It's just obviously taking its time. It's taking a little while to get done. Uh, how are they doing? Yep, see, they're still they're working as hard as they can. They're working absolutely as hard as they can. And then maybe get the apples before the quality of the crop falls too much, because then they can be turned into juice in here, by which time the cherries will either be frozen in this thing or sold, presumably, or turned into juice, and then go and get the pears at the end. The, might, the crop quality might have fallen on those pears for a little bit, but never mind. That's fine. That's something we'll have to put up with. Right, strawberries harvested. Jolly good. For the minute, we'll sell those. We'll just sell those. Right, pause. Pause, pause, pause. Oh my goodness. It's, it's massive. I have a very untraditional farm. It's just massive buildings. In fact, is it going up in order? So look, a, a relatively small slaughterhouse and a bit bigger kind of milk processing. It's a cheese factory, essentially. Milk processing center, whatever it is. Cheese factory. Is that bigger? Possibly they're kind of equal size. Then that's quite big. And then that's just gargantuan. And then, where? how, how big is the... That's no, garages. How big is the final milk uh, press? Oh, I can't click it because it won't let me because I haven't got enough money. Oh, that's a shame. I wonder if it was bigger or smaller than that. If it is bigger, I'll buy that tile and I'll put it there. we well, this increasing scale of buildings. That's very, very weird. Okay, so it looks good. We've seen the outside. Yep, yeah, admin block, windows, doors, door down here. There's doors around the edge, which is fine. Bank of windows across there. Weird kind of... You sort of, I don't know what they are, kind of alcove bits. That's a bit strange. And then, yeah, presumably all the stuff around here. This is the front. There's, ooh, what's that? Crates. Plastic crates. Okay, well, that's, I was going to say exciting. It's not that exciting. It's it's intriguing. How many people? Five. <laughs> well, there we go. Right, let's get you lot in. I have fully trained them all up in the art of working in one of these buildings. So that's jolly exciting. So there we go. There's five people there. Current production frozen cherries take as much as you can take as many fro as many cherries as you can and freeze them freeze the heck out of those cherries please you absolutely fly right let's just see how this goes so i expect them all to pour out of their house at any point uh, at any point yes there you all are good so you can all pour out you can go into here one of you is going to need to drive some sort of truck to go and pick up all the things to pick up the cherries have you got cherries are there any cherries in there? Yes. Okay, right. There's two, 3,000 kilograms of cherries. Okay. So that's a fairly big chunk of those. And they are flying through. Okay, this is good. Oh, we're going to have loads and loads of cherries left over, aren't we? Okay, well, we've got a little while left. We've got a few days. So let's just check. Sell, sell, sell. Third of the ninth that goes off. So yeah, we've got about a week. We've got about a week until they go off. So let's just see what we can do. Let's see if we can absolutely just fly through these cherries. And on the 2nd of the 9th, we shall have to go and sell all these. We'll have to sell them because we have no other option. Oh, and in the meantime, many things have popped up saying it's ready. So I assume these three orchard fields are ready. And I guess a couple of these are ready as well. Okay, right. That's fine. Pause time. Pause, pause, pause. Uh, strawberries. Now, this is intriguing, isn't it? I, I think... I think over here... We, um, yeah, let's take strawberries off the auto selling thing and we just get, we just feed all the strawberries into here now because then frozen strawberries are more profitable than regular strawberries. So let's, let's not do that. Let's press the right button. It's in there, isn't it? There and trade. So if we find strawberries in this list, right, uh, don't take uh, infinite and don't auto sell the strawberries. Once all this is done, they can have all the strawberries, all the strawberries they like. They can freeze them and do whatever they need to do with them. And it should be jolly splendid. Okay, so that's good. So we'll leave those in there for a little while. Just until the cherries are sorted. However, we need to do one of these fields of pears. 
Now, which food is slightly less quality? That one, as opposed to that one, and the apples are all just fine. Right, okay, well, let's do this then. So let's go, yep, machines, auto-fill. See, animals going to drive the tractor. All the seasonal people are going to come in, and then everyone else we want to clear. So clear all you lot, because you're all the actual permanent employees. You're fine. You can all just stay in your normal jobs. It's all good. In fact, do we need that many people, that many of those? What if we put all those on that field? It'll get done a lot quicker. It'll get done. Actually, do you know what? Do you know why don't we just put all the people in right now? Hang on. Is there any reason why we can't put every single employee we've got, all 29 of them, into that pair field just to get it done? Just get it done as soon as we can, at maximum speed. These aren't going anywhere. These little greenhouses. The greenhouses, when they're fine, that's it. They just sit there. Oh, this one here is ready as well. Uh, do you know what? Let's do. Let's auto-fill that. But no, not with you three. Let's put uh, untick seasonal. Where are the people that can work for longer? Right, you and unseasonal again, yes. And you and uh, you. No, why am I doing that? No, this is tiny. This, this takes about two minutes to do. No, clear that. Clear these people. I'm losing my mind. Too many things to consider. George Webb. Uh, Isaac Hammond. And whoever the third one is in line. Robin Mills. You go and do that field. That's fine. I don't think there's any reason. There's some tomatoes here to be harvested. But if we get all those pears out as quickly as we can, that's going to be pretty good. So yeah, let's just autofill every single other person. Everyone else on that. Yes, go. Go, go, go. Go farm squad. So I've got 70 employees currently. What, 12? How many of the um, season ones did I get? 11 or 12 are... Uh, yeah, so out of those 70, 11 or 12 are seasonal. So I've got sort of 60-odd proper employees. Insects on the field. Which one? The buckwheat. I know. The, the insects are spreading. It's fine. Okay, so let's get these pears out. Let's get these pears out. Okay, well, they've already done those apples. Those apples are already done out of that thing. So I don't think apples are set to... Auto trade. I don't think. Hang on. Somebody in the comments did say there's an auto trade thing in here. I think they did say there's an auto trade thing in here. Now, can I see where that is? Ah, there. Auto trade zero. So I assume that's not set to auto trade. Hang on. Let's find something that is. That is auto trade infinite. Right. So I don't auto trade the apples. So that's fine. So those apples we can keep and we can give to our animals. That's good. Right. You lot. All hordes of you. That's it. The pears. Oh, so many pears. This is tremendous. Right, okay. Absolutely fly through. Absolutely belt through. Oh, look. Time is ticking away until the 2nd of the next month, 2nd of September. And we're going to have to make a decision on what to do with all the cherries. I mean, they've done a noble effort. A noble effort of working their way through. We've got, what, 26,000 of them left. But time is running out. So here we go. We're going to get to the second and we're going to see what we can do. I think it'll just run through a little bit longer and it's going to turn into the second of the ninth anytime soon. I'm fairly sure it's going to happen. There we go. Right. Pause. So I don't want to lose out on all those cherries. I think that's all we can do. I don't think we can do anything else. Third of the ninth. Yeah. So they're going to go off tomorrow and they'll just vanish. So 23,000 cherries will just disappear. They'll just go off. So in here, they've got themselves... 2,000 kilograms sat in there, which is fine. So I think that's good. And then they're frozen cherries, which I assume have a very, very, very long... I assume, I really hope they do. If they've got a short lifespan, that's really stupid. Uh, so let's see. Sell. I press the wrong button. Sell, sell, sell. Frozen cherries must be in there somewhere. There we go. 1,000 kilograms for six... That's not very much, really, is it? That's not very much at all. We want more than that, please. So, um, yeah, that's intriguing. And the cherry juice as well we've got. Oh, that is just beautiful. Okay, well, that's good. That'll help offset the damage that from the yeah, the financial cost of the juice factory and all the people that work there. That's very good. Okay, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Also, liquid manure. Bye-bye. Sell that. Good riddance. Um, okay, we're going to have to sell the rest of the cherries. Right, those 3,098 are in, the, in this factory, aren't they? So it's the rest of the cherries that we need to get rid of. These, the numbers confuse, confuse me immensely. I don't understand. Three, th hang on. In storage, I've got 26,461. Now, does that mean that the ones in here are also going to go off? Those cherries there, the 2,000 kilograms that are in there, are going to go off, aren't they? I would assume. So I think I'm going to have to sell, I'm going to have to sell them right now. Oh no, hang on a minute. When's this bet thing going to happen? 25th of the 9th? 
Oh no, I need to get 10 tomatoes out. Hang on, let's just do one of these as well. Hang on, because that's 9,100. I've got those three people left over. Let's just do that. That was quite fortunate. They did the orchard, didn't they, over here? So yeah, let's do that. Let's win ourselves 9,100 from that. That's nice and simple. There we go. Right, I'm just I'm just delaying. I'm just procrastinating because I don't want to have to deal with the issue of what I do with the cherries. I think I just sell them all. I think I have to sell 26,500 cherries right now. Otherwise, they're just going to go off. There we go. That looks a little bit more representative. 23,600 and whatever it is are in uh, in regular storage. And the other 3,000, those 3,000 are in here. So they're all going to go off, look. So that, yeah, we're going to have to sell it for... Oh, okay. Well, that's that's certainly a, certainly a welcome boost to the funds. Good grief. Okay, that's fine. We've got a lot of pears. Well, pears seem to last a very long time. I'm quite surprised by the the shelf life of a pear. Wow. Months and months. What, five months? Really? Are you sure a pear lasts that long? I think pears go really, really soggy very quickly, don't they? They go very squishy very quickly. Okay, so all those cherries are done. Right, frozen cherry prices are absolutely tanking. They're the worst they've ever been. <laughs> that's brilliant. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so happy. And cherry juice prices as well. Brilliant. Well, isn't that good? It wasn't that worth the investment. When do they go off? Uh, third. Okay, so next year. So March next year. And the frozen cherries go off. 2022 in uh, June. Sorry. 27th of June. Okay, they've got a very long shelf life. So that's good. Uh, okay, that's fine. So the cherries have now gone. The cherries have all gone. They can no longer do anything with cherries in the warehouse. There are some cherries. And uh, I don't need to sell those as well. <laughs> Do I need to sell those cherries? Or is it just not registering that I've sold them yet? Yeah, they're not in my selling list anymore, are they? No. Okay. That's absolutely fine. So I think they're gone. I think they are now gone and done and dusted. Let's just clear these notifications down. Bish, bash, bosh. Right. Okay. So they're coming to get the tomatoes to give us that. Everyone up here is working on the pears. And it's going pretty well. This massive amount of people certainly does work their way through harvesting an orchard very, very quickly. So that's very good. Look at that. Go. Go, my little worker ants. My little worker peasants. Did I say peasants? I mean comrades. It's a, you know, it's a, a cooperative farm. It's fine. Uh, okay, good. Little tractor drives away. We're so nearly done. Why does a tractor drive to really weird spots? They're harvesting the, the, the pears over there. Why have we driven to the far corner where they aren't? Uh, low amount of food and animals building pigsty wheat have we got enough wheat yes we have much in the way of wheat that's just the person who works there being useless okay that's absolutely fine uh, right is that done is this field done now so let's just see it's done right okay lots of pears harvested pause pause time now pears i don't think there's any point in keeping them the goats have them and that's it so why don't we sell i don't know what if we keep a thousand of them now is that going to register that they're allowed that pears yeah, I don't want them to have 275,000 kilograms of pears. That's quite a lot for the goats, isn't it? So how about we sell, 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 sell pears. Uh, sell that many. And what if we got the thing? For <laughs> what? 410,000 monies, dollars, I was going to say, but monies. Okay, that, <laughs> that seems a lot. So 9833. Okay, what if we sold... Uh, 96,000 units of that. 400 grand. J yeah, I'm in. I'm game. Let, let's do that. Let's go for that. Let's make ourselves 400 grand from selling some, tom uh, some pears. Splendid. Okay, right. Pears are good then. Okay, now. Now, now, now. Apples next then. Those pears are looking okay. They're fine. They'll still stay there for a bit. Uh, yeah, let's get this then. Let's get the apples. Let's do exactly what we did before with all the people. All the people. There's, there's so many people. They're all working to get apples. Yeah, let's do that. Apples. Do that. This place now has to presumably turn off. I've still got quite a lot of cherries in there. They've still got quite a lot of cherries in there. I thought they would have gone. I thought they would have gone because it's gone past their sell-by date. There's cherries in the frozen food factory as well. So I wonder if when they're taken out of one of the wet little warehouse storage areas and they're put into a production building, they just have infinite life. They just stay there forever. I think that might be the case. That's quite cool. In that case, what we're going to do is we need to harvest all that stuff first. So that is now being harvested, which is splendid. So let's just get that done. We can't do anything else at the minute until that's finished. 
Uh, you guys are working on the tomatoes, which is lovely. We should win that bet very comfortably because we've got 1,856. So we've got 1,846 more than our idiotic neighbour farmer mate as, as betters we can get. I don't know. Now, oh, many, many thousand more than, than he thought we could get. And we've still got ourselves quite a few weeks to do that. Okay, so that's going to be fine. We're going to win that bet. And that's a free, fairly, yeah, yeah it is. It's a free $9,100 because we would have got that anyway. Uh, this is absolutely flying through. Hooray, we've collected 10 tomatoes and some more as well. So that's splendid news. Okay, the apples are good. This is flying through. Okay, let's get all these apples done. Let's get all the apples harvested and then see where we can go from there. Okay, there seems to be a little bit of confusion with the harvesting of these apples. Low amount of food, very good. The um, tractor just sat at the edge there for absolutely ages. Okay, the tractor's gone away. The tractor's gone and parked. Ah, right, there we go. 118,000 apples and whatever it was, 79. <laughs> again, again, very accurate, very accurate bookkeeping with how many apples we got from this gigantic orchard. But, but yeah, well done. I like meticulous, meticulous accounting. That's good. So, in here now, we need to go in and turn that on. And then, yeah, 50-50 between... Oh, do you know what? If those cherries are going to sit in there forever now, because they've not gone off, even though it's gone past their gone-off date, I think at the minute, we just crank out apple juice as much as we can and see how many apples they can load into this juice factory. And then, eventually, when it comes to it, we'll have to sell the apples and all that kind of jazz. And then, yeah, whatever's left in this warehouse, the juice factory can work on. When they've then turned whatever's left of the apples and the cherries into juice, we can then put the tomatoes back in and do that kind of thing. Meanwhile, how are these guys doing? So, yeah, they're still working their way through. They've still got 800, nigh on 800, anyway, just, just shy of 800 kilograms of cherries to work on. So, they'll have a few more of those sorted. Okay, that's good. So let's just, oh, all these are ready now as well. All these are ready. This is splendid. Okay, well, let's get some more tomatoes. Are there three people left? Oh, there's loads of people left. Of course there is. Do you know what? Let's go and get ourselves some more pears then, shall we, before all this decides to go away. So let's go to autofill. Everybody go and do that. Why not? Just get those pears done. Get those pears done. Get them out of the way. It's sorted. We'll make some money off them. That's nice. In the meantime, let's see what goes on here then. So let's make sure they get some apples in first. To make sure they go and get some apples, put them in, and then work, work frantically on making apple juice. Now, apple juice is not as profitable as cherry juice, but you get more of it because it only takes 200 kilograms of apples to make a cherry, uh, an apple juice, sorry, whereas it takes 300 kilograms of cherries to make a cherry juice. So that's quite intriguing, isn't it? Now, they haven't gone and got apples yet. Come on, come on, you're, that's it. Your new job is working on apples. Forget the cherries. Cherries are old hat for the minute. Boo, down with cherries. Hooray for apples. Just a quick check. If I were to sell all of the apples, I would get a, a cool 242 grand for it, which is indeed very, very welcome. And that's very good. That's quite a lot. But yes, if we can extract some of those apples out, turn them into juice, then we have to make a little bit more profit off of the top of those. They haven't as yet put any apples into the juice factory, which is a little bit worrying. It's a bit worrying, but I think maybe they've not been there yet. I think I can just see the workers going back into the juice factory right now. There we go. One of them is poised with a truck. On the outside, I don't quite know what's going on now. Go and, uh, go and get some apples. Your orders are not difficult. Apples are required to make apple juice. Go, go, go in your little truck, please. Splendid. Okay, I didn't see the truck actually drive out. It just kind of poked its head out the door. And then, I don't know, the apples were beamed onto the little truck. I don't know. But whatever the case, they're now making apple juice. Now, let's put time onto slow mode for a second one. Well, normal speed. When do the apples go off? 7th of the 3rd, 2020... Hang on, what? Apples do... I, I've bought apples before. There's no way that apples last six months. <laughs> apples do not last six months. I've bought some apples before from a shop. And if I leave them out, they do not last six months. They go weird and horrible after about a week. Well, maybe two weeks. Okay. Well, I think they'll just be able to work on apples forever then. And then we just sell them when the profit... The, the cost of the apples itself goes back up. That's crazy. Really? That long? That long? Okay, that's fine. Why are there still some pears? I thought I'd sold all my pears. Did I keep a hundred... Hang on, what? It's a hundred thousand pears. Oh, did I do the maths wrong on selling the pears? I'm really confused with how many apples and pears we've got. I'm really confused. Oh, dear me. I'm so confused. Oh, this is more pears. Of course, I'm doing the next food of pears. Why have I got so many apples split up into so many bits? This is really confusing. If I just did that, 
if I sold every apple, it'd be 150,000 uh, 150, kilograms. But I don't want to do that. Okay, that's a bit confusing. Right, have they finished doing all the pears? Are all the pears now done? Is that now just going to sit there? Yes, I think they've done. The orchards are done. Our orchard harvest for the year is sorted, which is splendid. And we've got so much honey to sell as well at the end of the year. Ah, oh, it's tremendous. Okay, also in this place, we want to set strawberries. Strawberries, yes. Take as many strawberries as you need. Thank you very much, because there are some things over here. Two strawberry things over here that need harvesting. So let's get that done. Okay, I'm just looking at the frozen food factory. In their warehouse, they now have 1,800 kilograms of cherries. I could have sworn when I looked last time, unless I have gone completely crazy, which, you know, is entirely accurate. Oh, I was just making a completely, you know, I've done this completely wrong. I thought they had something like 800 left, just shy of 800. And I went, oh, that's absolutely fine. Or was that the juice factory, possibly? But then looking in the juice factory, the juice factory did have some cherries in. Now it has entirely no cherries in. It's all apples, which is fine, because that's good. They need to make lots of apple juice. And I think they might burn through all that eventually. They might get through all those apples, given their extraordinarily long sort of shelf life. So I think maybe, maybe, and I might check this with the developers or whatever. I might go and look on the forums or something. When we switch cherry down to nothing, so spend 0% of your time making cherry juice, please, juice factory one. It went, oh, okay, well, I'm not going to spend any time making cherries, cherry juice, so I don't need these cherries. And this place went, hey, hey, I'm uh, making some frozen cherries. Do you want to send them over here, please? And they went, yeah, all right, then that's a good idea. And then it's been, they've been put into there, I think, possibly. That might be what's happened. I might need to go back and revisit this. Now, when I edit this video, that probably might make a little bit more sense. But that, I think, might possibly be what's happened. I don't, I don't know entirely. No, without having to go back and look at stuff, I'm not entirely sure. But there's still, an, there's an awful lot going on. So there, the strawberries are going to be done there. The strawberries are going to feed into here. We're still getting honey. I mean, the amount of honey we've got, seven thousand. So we've got almost seventeen thousand units of honey to sell of the three varying types, which is just a crazy amount. Also, when do my seasonal workers all clear off? When do they all go away? Twenty-six of the tenth. Ah, about the honey. Uh, somebody put a comment. Do you know what? It might have been. It might have been Nikki, the Nickster. Uh, I think she said, with the bees, why not hire seasonal workers to cover the bees? Because obviously, over winter, they don't do anything. The bees don't make anything because they go away. They hibernate or whatever a bee does. It goes to sleep for a long while. But um, no, I like the permanent employees for these because they have the bee skill. The skill of beekeeping affects the amount of honey collected. So it's specifically linked to actual bees. Whereas these guys do have a thing there, but it's to do with the amount of the harvest. So that's to do with harvesting, whether it's orchards or fields, I assume. Whereas the beekeeping skill is directly related to bees itself. So yeah, it's a, it's a good, a good suggestion. It's a logical thought to have. But no, we are going to keep the people here. So we're going to keep the permanent employees with the high beekeeping skill to maximise our honey and make loads of cash. Aha, and some strawberries have been harvested. Now they should, therefore, end up in here in due course. So not right now, but they will soon. And we've got another strawberry greenhouse just here as well. So let's sort that one out. Let's get that done as well. You three, there we go. And while we're here, let's just set everybody to work on these. And I don't care who, you can auto fill the seasonal workers. That's absolutely fine. Yes, just do these things now because there's loads of these to do. So if we just do all these, get all these harvested, there's so many tomatoes to harvest. So there we go, another one. Another one, yeah. Oh, there we go. We've got a mix of people. Abigail and Liam have got to work with Elliot, the permanent employee. There we go. I hope they don't have a fight. Right, you are going over there. And the last one, you can go into there. Splendid. So that still leaves eight people not doing anything. Now, one of those people is going to be the tractor driver person, which is fine. They can just sit there. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> Their job is done. They drove a tractor about and they've done a splendid job. But yeah, who are the other eight? I wonder. They're probably just other harvesty people aren't they who would be put to work if i hadn't just summoned the seasonal workers into uh, harvest these tomatoes so okay that's absolutely fine that's fine have strawberries arrived in this place yet yeah, not quite right let's keep an eye on that let's see when that happens aha strawberries have appeared in the frozen food factory so they are working on that as well which is very exciting so yeah, they're doing a bit of both look, and it's going up at the same rate. So strawberries and cherries going up. Now, one of the things here, one of the uh, things to research, to training, is an increase in production. Now, that's going to be very valuable for places like this. 
I think it's an increase in, of 20% possibly. But these things are doing okay. They're ticking over quite nicely. The next thing, really, we've kind of got this, this production sort of stuff sorted now, I think. We do want to do this now. I want to get the big kind of cow things. I want to get the big cow sheds, the giant kind of pig styes in. I just want this bit to be up here, just be like a great big kind of animal kind of area full of loads of cool things. That'll be very exciting. Oh, we've got so many tomatoes. They're doing so much harvesting of tomatoes down here. There's still two left and we've got 12 and a half thousand tomatoes and they're still putting them into the thing. So yeah, these aren't even finished. So we're going to have about 13, maybe 13 and a half thousand tomatoes. I don't know. We're going to have an awful lot of them. Uh, right, okay. Weirdly enough, we seem to have 149 cherries. I don't know how that's happened. How have we got 149 cherries? Have we got some sort of excess in a place and they've just sort of got rid of them and put them back into into a, one of the warehouses or something? Yeah, look there. 149 kilograms of cherries that go off on the 24th of the 10th. Uh, okay. Where did they come from? Because that wasn't the original sort of going off date. Okay, that's really strange. I don't know what's happened with that just there. That's very, very weird and very unexpected. But okay. And is it feel ready for harvest? Oh, the peppers. Oh, that's fine. Okay, yeah, let's um, let's get some people in to do that. Uh, oh, we've got one of the weird little package delivery quest mission things. That I don't actually think give you any money. Or do they give you a tiny, tiny pittance of monies? Uh, go on then, who are we looking for? Molly Cox. Okay, fine. Let's go and look for Molly Cox staff list. Yeah, okay. Well, the only problem is I've got so much stuff. What does Molly Cox do? What's her job? It'd be really useful if you told me what she did. There you go. She works at the slaughterhouse. That's lovely. Right. Deliver the package. Yay, we delivered a package. That's splendid. Ah, we have finished the training for the cow farming. Oh, that's very good. Okay, well, now... We had a plan before, didn't we? So let's do the next lot. So uh, it's either pigs or sheep and goats. It makes no difference. I think we're getting both done. Do you know what? That one's first. Pigs, please. Splendid. That's that sorted. Right. All those tomatoes, I think we're going to have to sell because this place is just going to be producing apple juice for the foreseeable future. It's going to be producing apple juice for a little while, I would have thought, because that harvest was quite big and apple seemed to last a very long while. So let's sell all of those tomatoes, which is fine. I don't mind selling them because they're sort of a stopgap measure anyway. So if we've got some extra stuff, that's fine. Sell those. Do you know what? That's not to be sniffed at. 32 grand. 32 grand. Okay, that's fine. So let's sell all the tomatoes. That's good. Uh, and let's take a look at the extra. So frozen cherries. We've got 55,000 kilograms of frozen cherries. The price is unfortunately rubbish at the minute. But they'll stick around. So we'll sell them at some point. Frozen strawberry prices. Oh, they're quite high. Oh, yes. Right. Let's sell them now. $19,000 or money is whatever it is for those. So, yes. Sell, please. Thank you. I don't know if that registered it or not. Uh, and then cherry juice. The price is rubbish. And apple juice. The price is absolutely terrible. Uh, okay. And you know what? Let's sell one of those big bits of manure as well. So let's sell... Uh, 8800 of manure like that just to free it up free up a bit of room in one of these things is that one i think it might be that one yeah so they're all depleting so that's good um okay yeah the the things that we've got so the cherry juice and the apple juice and the frozen cherries are just not selling very well at all the the profit of them was going to be rubbish i mean that's okay that's tipped at a tiny tiny bit It'd be nice if it went over six and a half I and mean, at one point that's probably just over what just under sorry seven and now it's over six Come on, that's quite a lot per unit. If we're selling 5,000 of them, that's another 5,000 on top of the monies, isn't it? So yeah, we want to make sure we're selling them for the right amount. So I think what we'll do is we'll call it a day for now, because I think that's quite a good point to leave it. But next time, next time, I was planning on doing it this time, but that was a little bit more involved than I was expecting. Next time out, I think we put in raspberries. We put in a raspberry field, or two, or three, or whatever, over here. Because, you know, the, I mean, these are all fruits. We've got our, pe uh, our, our peaches. We haven't got any peaches. Also, that would be quite cool. Uh, we've got cherries. We've got apples. And we've got pears. So, yeah, raspberries would kind of fit nicely. They kind of go well over here. So, we'd you know, bring that road round there, maybe, and put a raspberry field in. And would we put a, we could put a massive raspberry field in? Like a huge raspberry field? Because we can now have... Uh, oh, no, we can't, can we? We can't have 100 by 100. Not right now, we can't. If we upgrade the building for quite a lot of money, which we could, in theory, do... But I don't think I want to because it leaves us with a little bit of a deficit going on. But um, if we do, 
that, we could have a 100 by 100 field of raspberries and see how that goes. Now, it might require more farm equipment. I don't know. More building of these things because I don't know what's required to get raspberries that are planted and then raspberries out of the ground again. I don't know. But that's something we can certainly look at next time. So, yeah, that, that that's the plan. That's the plan for next time out. Raspberries, get this stuff still working and then hopefully sell all these things that we're making. So, yeah, the cherry juice and the frozen things, we can actually sell them and see how that actually is, is going to work, you know, if it's actually going to make us some money. Because this thing, we've sold the strawberries, but the the, uh, the cherries have not actually sold yet because the price is terrible, which is a little bit unfortunate, isn't it? All that effort we went to to build this thing. So, yes, quick, put cherries in. Make make frozen cherries. That, that shall save us. And, yeah, the price is pretty rubbish at the minute. So, never mind. So, uh, yeah, we'll... we'll um, Keep working on those as well to try and uh, sell all the stuff off that these two things are producing. But that that is it for now. So hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. And also, if you are not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here on the lovely people's farm. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. This room was fire free until it wasn't. Okay, yeah. Come with me if you want to live, Paul. Hop on. Wee. <laughs> this is brilliant. That looks fun. Do some watery stuff. Yes, make the propane caster not explode. Uh, yeah, the toilet's on fire. Never mind. Oh dear, that didn't go according to plan. Never mind, it's fine. 